noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestments.com. Hey, you're feeling unsure about your finances these days. Well, you're not alone. That's why Noble Gold Investments is here to help. Just let me just tell you to you, straight from the folks they've already helped. One man said that noblegoldinvestments.com's crew walked me through everything and no stress. Another one said, and with their help, I can finally sleep easy at night. And now this month, noblegoldinvestment.com is handing out for free these five ounces of pure silver, America the beautiful coin. If you qualify, look at this, for the IRA, and they can, they'll give this to you guys. It's unbelievable, five ounces, so heavy. Invest in gold or silver with www.noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. Or pick up the phone and call them at 877-646-5347. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com. Noble Gold Investments, the only gold company that I trust. Tensions flared within the closed door meeting of House Republicans on Thursday highlighting the deep divisions and internal discord within the House GOP conference as they struggle to unite around a plan to prevent a government shutdown. An altercation between GOP Representative Matt Gates and Speaker Kevin McCarthy escalated during the meeting, as reported by an insider that was present. Gates confronted McCarthy, questioning whether McCarthy's associates were financially backing conservative influencers who were using social media to criticize Gates an allegation circulating on social media platforms and one that the Speaker's office has already denied. According to the source inside the room, McCarthy retorted that he had no intention of investing his time or resources in Gates, CNN reported. Another source added that McCarthy responded by suggesting that he was unaware of Gates's priorities but emphasized his commitment to donating $5 million to help secure the majority. Quote, I asked him whether or not he was paying those influencers to post negative things about me online, Gates told CNN's Manu Raju. Now, the relationship between Matt McCarthy and Gates has been fraught with tension for an extended period. Gates has taken a leading role in advocating for a vote to remove the speaker as pressure mounts on McCarthy amid the government shutdown spending dispute. And additionally, Staunch conservatives are resisting the idea of passing any form of short-term funding extension to keep the government operational. According to a recent assessment by the State Department, the Chinese government is investing substantial sums of money each year in global disinformation campaigns. This campaign serves to advance Beijing's geopolitical objectives and suppress criticism of its policies. Beijing's extensive efforts include the deployment of online bot and troll armies, initiating legal actions against individuals or entities critical of Chinese businesses and investments, and establishing content sharing agreements with media outlets in Latin America and Africa. Furthermore, the Chinese government employs tactics such as discussing English language articles authored by fictitious writers within influential local media outlets, Wall Street Journal reported. Additionally, they exert diplomatic pressure on foreign universities and newspapers that publish content considered offensive to China's interests. China, in close collaboration with Russia, also uses its information machinery to reinforce narratives related to the Ukraine conflict. This includes amplifying Russia's unfounded allegations regarding secret biological warfare laboratories in Kyiv and echoing Moscow's assertions that the expansion of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization has triggered the war. In response, the report indicates that Russia reciprocates by promoting Chinese propaganda, particularly concerning Beijing's claims to Taiwan, a democratic self-governing island, and other interests of the People's Republic of China. A tragic incident occurred in Florida when a 16-year-old girl, Bailey Holbrook, lost her life to a sudden lightning strike while she was out hunting with her father. The police reported that Bailey, a dedicated student at 
Palatka High School and an enthusiastic hunter was out with her father, Matthew, on Tuesday afternoon in Putnam County when lightning struck a tree they were standing next to as per News 4 Jacks. The powerful lightning strike rendered both father and daughter unconscious, and after regaining consciousness, Matthew discovered that Bailey was not breathing, as stated by the Putnam County Sheriff's Office. The New York Post reported, Matthew immediately administered CPR to his daughter until a paramedics arrived. Bailey was subsequently transported to a trauma center, but tragically she passed away on Thursday morning. Quote, At 9.32 this morning, Bailey Holbrook entered into the arms of Jesus. The Trinity Baptist Church said in a statement, extending its condolences to the family. Quote, Matt, Casey, and Kaylee are grateful for the outpouring of love and support.